to have everybody joining us tonight. And uh, we're, we're, we got a great, great call lined up for you and looking forward to really hearing from the Endotech team tonight. Uh, we also have uh, Alex on the webinar with us tonight, who uh, today, who is going to be sharing some insight on the uh, technology updates. And of course, uh, Edward and Elia and myself, great to be here with you guys. And uh, we're just excited. I know, I know it, it's everybody is waiting and ready for the platform to open back up. And I'll tell you what, it's going to be worth it. Uh, what, what, what we're going to do in this next wave of relaunch and the legacy company that we're going to build together uh, with Daisy is like nothing we've ever seen. And uh, we, we got a little taste of it uh, on the 10th of January uh, for a couple of days. Uh, but we know that the future is um, everything, and, and even more than we had hoped for. As we've seen the project already start to unfold, uh, we realize where we're going, what, what we're going to be scaling into, and it's it's uh, it's going to be an empire legacy project, that's for sure. So, guys, I want to throw it over to uh, my business partner Edward uh, Kemchin, who actually introduced me to uh, Endotech, uh, to Adam, to Dr. Anna, to Dimitri, and uh, you know he really had the vision from day one for what Endotech can do in the marketplace, and. I remember Edward first telling me about Endotech and he said, listen, this is a company that has the technology uh, to become a multi-billion dollar uh, uh, and beyond uh, uh, project. And we've got to figure out a way to bring this to the world to really uh, uh, put a model together uh, uh, with Endotech. And uh, that was a year and a half ago. So it's, it's exciting to see how things have, uh, have come around full circle. And uh, Edward, thanks for your mentorship, your friendship, and I'll throw it over to you. Thank you, Jeremy. Um, it is a pleasure being on this call. Thank you, everyone, for joining. Um, you know, before before I'm going to go in, I actually want Ilya, uh, as our partner, one of our founders, to say a few things, and then and then I want to complete something, because um, you know, all this time since the last two weeks, our days are, I wake up. And the first thing I do, I talk to Ilya and Jeremy. And before I go to sleep, I talk to Ilya and Jeremy every single day. So <laughs> I want to pass it to Ilya for now. And then Ilya, please pass it back to me. Uh, yeah, <laughs> thank you, Edward. Yes. And this is actually one of the reasons why I cannot see my family early morning because I wake up very late because of this time difference. But I'm kind of enjoying this. And uh, uh, what I want to say is that actually I'm very, uh, very uh, humbled and very proud to surround myself with uh, positive people uh, because now we have some temporary issues and uh, all of people that you see on this call became very close friends of, of mine not just partners and i'm very happy to see on daily basis that everybody keeps very positive attitude i believe that for long-term success it's super super important to stay positive and this is actually uh, the reason why we partnered initially with edward with jeremy actually to uh, launch this business because we are on the same page because we feel the same about long-term vision uh, for this product it's not a short-term uh, uh, business for just one, one month or a couple months so we have plans for many years to come and uh, uh, it is extremely important to understand the vision and, and i'm very happy that most of uh, leaders of uh, global uh, leadership actually shares uh, our vision i, I mean uh, they agree on our vision they they, they follow uh, this vision and uh, this is why we are on the call today right so uh, uh, and uh, uh, yes, we have some temporary issues, but uh, everything is under control. So you're going to hear today from Dr. Anna about product side. You're going to hear from Mr. Alex from uh, Kiev, from Ukraine. He's going to touch on some technical side as well. So everything is under control 100%. Uh, we stay not only positive, but very confident in long-term success. So uh, Edward, I'd like to pass back to you and please take it over. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Anyway, uh, same thing for me. Uh, it is my pleasure and it's actually... I enjoy, even though we have some challenges, right? But I enjoy working with you guys, with all of you, right? And uh, I know I know where we headed. We headed to somewhere uh, very, very exciting. It's gonna be really good. So I, um, the way everything started actually, the very first guy who I spoke to with Endotech, that was Adam Rubin. And Adam Rubin is here right now. And I wanted to, you guys, uh, probably most of you seen him on the website. Some of you maybe heard a little bit from from him, but uh, Adam Rubin played a big role here. Uh, he's the one who 
on a first call, he's the one who got me uh, really interested about end attack and, and got my belief in him. He's the first guy I spoke and he's the one who connect me with uh, Dr. Ann and Dimitri Gushin. And Adam is actually going, going to be one of the guys who's gonna be uh, helping and connecting all the VAP's accounts. He's responsible, that's what he does. And um, I know, um, I mean, I visit him in Israel. Him and uh, Dimitri are very close. They are very, very close partners. I wanted actually from, from Adam himself. So you guys could hear exactly what they do behind the scenes. This is our executive team here from Endotech. And, um, you know, before, before I'll pass it to you, Adam, I want to say actually a few more things. I, in the uh, last two weeks, I've been talking to a lot of leaders from Daisy and some excited and excited because there's only a handful of people who made money so far because we opened up only for five days, right? But I'm telling you guys, uh, we didn't even start it. What you've seen, it's such a small thing what you've seen. You didn't even see when the trading is going to start. This is why we have Dr. Anna here. We wanted you guys to actually understand the behind the scene, the foundation of Daisy. And uh, if you see it, our pay setters bonuses and people who actually reached those bonuses and made a little bit on it. And it was exciting because that was a lot more than they expected, right? But nobody didn't even realize that the pay setter it was only front money. It didn't even, the, the trading profits didn't even start it, right? I do have a lot of people asking me questions right now. Uh, recently in the last few days, people start asking me questions. When is the trading is going to start? Uh, is it why it didn't start it yet? Well, that's why we have Dr. Anna here. She's going to actually tell you when it's going to start. It actually starts from the day you guys purchase the, the tier. It starts maybe maybe first 10 days, two weeks, two months. Maybe there's not, you're going to see it, but then you'll see it. I, I, I mean, this is the real trading. Anyway, so I think Adam, uh, Ruben, First, I want to tell directly to you, uh, it, it is, uh, I want to thank you for bringing this to us because it, 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 it started with you. You you were the guy that first I spoke with. And um, if you did not connect me, if I didn't believe in you, we would not be here today. So Adam, uh, uh, thanks again, please. Thank you. It's, um, it's a wonderful thing to have an introduction like that. It's an even more wonderful thing to have these words coming from people that I generally um, have so much loyalty to and honor and respect for. So Ed, right back at you. Uh, Ilya, you know, I've had less time with you, but it's been absolutely phenomenal. Jeremy, you know how I feel about you. I think you're fantastic. And that energy of yours is just infinite, which uh, I can respect very much because I have to tap in to those same infinite wells of energy to always make sure that, um, you know, our clients and our system and our team and our partners are feeling um, precisely the things they need to feel. Um, I'll give myself a really short intro here. I'm Adam Rubin. I am um, VP of sales for uh, Endotech as a company. And I'm originally from the UK, from London. I've been living out here in Israel since 2008. That's when I moved out here for new opportunities for technology. My background is in the field of financial trading and market analysis. I've always been a bit of a market junkie. And luckily, I've been able to build up um, a good reputation in the field of financial consulting and, and uh, financial technology providing. But this also meant that I'm sure most of you are aware that there's lots of um, negative aspects of the online market. There are a lot of traps out there. There's, there's lots of problems just waiting for you to find for the first time. And I have a very, very pure soul where what's most important to me is how I feel and who I represent myself as a father, as a husband, in my community, in my industry, I take it very, very personally and primarily. So I always stayed away from working with any others. This enabled me to build up some good assets. And then I ran into crypto. <clears throat> and this is just a really quick uh, story so that you can understand why uh, both Anna and Dimitri are, are not just business partners, they're my family, and uh, why this lean family team is about to change the entire market together. So. Very simply, the problem with crypto is that it's highly volatile, great opportunity, but very big risks. I personally bought in at the wrong time with too much funds, too much risk. It was out of control. Uh, I bought Bitcoin for the first time in January 2018. Hands up. I am the chimpanzee of the market. 
Um, I'll put my other hand up because the next thing that I did was start to sell the BTC to all coins because, of course, the dollar value was falling. So I'm going home telling my wife, don't worry, it's under control. I'm buying Tron and uh, EOS and Dash. You know, I'm trying frantically to find the 5,000% gain to get myself out the hole and it was going badly. And I had a great friend introduce me to Dimitri here in the Diamond District, uh, also where the Endotech office is. Long story short, I sat down with Dimitri. There was a chemistry. He's a legitimate, genuine man. He cares about his family, his team, and every pixel, and I respect that. And he said three words to me, Adam, client, custody. And that was all I needed to hear, because we all should know these days, uh, um, you know, when it comes to these systems, that that's really where the attention was. From there, the team showed me their breakout systems of automation. I got to know Anna. Um, it's been a fantastic journey. I promised that I would bring my friends from other hedge funds and the institutional industry, and we did. We took on retail, we took on uh, markets that were unhealthy, and we've been doing this with a transparent technology that delivers our results in real time. And when we grew this friendship, Ed, and, and guys, you know, um, I was so massively chuffed when Ed flew out to see us just before Corona. Nature loved us. The final trip that he managed to take was out here to Israel to see us and the team and I'll never forget that investment. So when it comes to Daisy, very simply for myself as a young 35 year old looking to take over the universe and be the next Elon Muskie Rubin, um, I want you all to know something that it's not the money that's driving us, it's who we are and how we're doing it. We're fortunate enough to have the luxury in life where we can choose the projects that we want to work on, that we can choose the direction of this world that we want to go in. And both Anna and Dimitri are two of the most absolutely honest, fantastic and straight and narrow people I've ever met. Um, I've trusted them with my family, with my funds, with my career for the last two years. It's been the best decision I've ever made. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing the fruits of both of their pinnacle career moments. Um, Daisy, as Edward said, has only just started. It hasn't really even been turned on. Um, I hope to come and bring maximum value for the VIP accounts for all of you. I would like to bring perfect service care support and make sure that you get all optimum efficiency from the best of our tech. And then with that in mind, I'd like to pass the mic over. I, I think to uh, Dimitri will say something now, but thank you so much for the opportunity, everyone. And um, I do thoroughly look forward to taking over the world with you one day at a time. Thank you so much for the patience also. Thank you very much, Adam. Um, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you all and thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today, guys. Uh, it's very important. First of all, I would like to remove completely any rumors concerning that the trading has not begun for DAISY yet. That's not the case. The first position for DAISY went live on January 18th and uh, any prior transaction was due to conversions, actually. And I believe that Anna will explain about it in details shortly. Um, as Adam said, you know, as, as the crypto markets are extremely volatile, our main focus is invested both into the future results and, and account preservation methods for our clients funds to rely on. Um, as it stands today, our company has a multi-year head start against any potential competition. Both myself, Anna, and our full senior team uh, were united in our mission to be part of the next wave of, of trading technology with, uh, of course, our super intelligence DAISY project. Um, guys, my style is to say less and deliver more. So uh, for now, thank you once again for, for the time and attention. And we, of course, look forward to working with you, you know, creating together our successful future with DAISY. Thank you very much. I think that Anna, you should uh, explain now about uh, some details about trading. I actually will speak more because I, it's very important for me to explain what's going on. It's important for me to explain uh, 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 the details and bring the reality of uh, cars and daisy situation. Uh, so you will understand the story. Uh, let me share my screen. I appreciate if you can say that yep, that we, you see yeah. it, right? Yeah, we can we can see it. Everybody can okay. see it. So it's, it's a kind of official report of uh, uh, up to uh, January 29th of what happened. So I will start with Tron conversion story. What happened with the uh, uh, beginning of the uploading of the funds is that we started to receive the funds 
And our thinking was as following, the algorithms that we utilized to convert Tron were as following. Even that at this point, uh, all of our system indicated that it's kind of end of uh, bullish trend for Tron. We still uh, were a little bit inclined to think that it might, uh, the, the onboarding of the clients for uh, DAISY might artificially increase value of the Tron and then uh, have a short, very short, uh, sharp uh, uh, drop down of the pricing once uh, the initial wave will end. So we decided to use algorithm that will keep uh, only 10% and will not try to be advantageous with the system. So uh, during the first two days, as you can see, uh, market experience 15% of the uh, Tron uh, price decreases. And then it resulted in two, 3%, depending on the account of the losses of the total uh, conversion. Now, just to uh, explain it, it's not really a big problem for us because we're talking about high risk, high return. And in high risk, high return, if you remember, our goal is to reach 100% and up. So uh, any percentage which is single digit is expected and is uh, managed. So for us, it's not, not a, a dramatic situation. So th that's how it started. Uh, during the next uh, few days, we were still converting trons. And now we have uh, uh, everything converted to USDT. And from this, the trading started. So how it started? We started on uh, January 4th, which is somewhere here, right in the middle. So what happened is that uh, all of our clients, VIP clients at Endotech experienced 60% trend on Ether where we made the full value of the trend and also experienced the second trend of almost 100% where we took 75 to 80% of the trend. So uh, uh, after this situation, which was very successful up to uh, uh, 4th of uh, January, uh, all of our algorithms said that it's actually very high risk zone begins and thus no trading. What it means is that uh, if you look at the changes that were during this period for several times, it went very abruptly uh, up and down, even up to 50%. So if you're taking the wrong side because you're thinking that it's a trend going down and you're taking the uh, cell, cell side, you're taking the, the cell signal, then you might experience extremely uh, uh, big losses, even with stop losses. So during this situation, we simply say, don't trade. We wait for our own indicators, uh, system indicators to say that volatility reduced and now we can start trading. So till uh, uh, 18th of January, all of our indicators said, no, don't trade. And I'm, I'm happy to report that it was the right decision. And you can see now it was the right decision to do. From uh, uh, January 18th, we started to trade now the volatility is still very high from our point of view. Only now it starts to get, even not today, into the normal volatility. So the volatility where we can expect trends, right? So from our point of view, we started to trade very uh, with minor funds with only few out of 40 strategies that we have. And we experienced some wins, some losses. Eventually, as you can see on your screens on Daisy, we uh, uh, took another 2% of hit. But again, it's, it's a very dangerous situation and 2% of uh, uh, losses is very accepted and actually welcomed from my side because if it's uh, uh, during the months you experience 2% during this period, it means that systems are right where they're supposed to be. Uh, so the good stories that happened is that uh, uh, some of you that not uh, experienced the trading short, uh, we had several short algorithms kicking in, a uh, little bit saving the situation. So for example, uh, on Bitcoin, we entered short on 35, exited on 33, took again break even uh, short, resulting in uh, again saving a bit of uh, the results. Also, uh, we had swing algos on Ether that entered with sell at uh, 1417. 
and uh, also resulting right now in a, in a, a small wins. And altogether, we are now at uh, a five, six percent loss against single digits. We are still uh, where it's supposed to be after such massive trends that happened on the market. Uh, when I speak about DAISY portfolio, I would like to uh, introduce to you our uh, uh, portfolio. We have uh, uh, 40 plus strategies that running. Uh, they, their breakdown, their allocation is between Bitcoin, Ether, uh, altcoins and Tron. Again, Tron is a historical uh, situation for the DAISY at the moment. We uh, have 41% in ITER just because it's shown to be much more uh, volatile and uh, resulting in very high trends. So uh, our breakdown is ITER 41, uh, Bitcoin almost 30, 28, altcoins altogether responsible for 18% and Tron right now responsible for 13, which should reside as soon as we start new onboarding. It should be go down to 3%. Uh, also, this situation is just because uh, we just started, so uh, uh, later more will flow into the Bitcoin. From the trend swing, uh, trend swing situation, 80% are relying on the trend, so 20% of the swing are uh, hedging us exactly in the situation that we are right now to reduce a little bit of the uh, drawdowns during uh, choppy periods. We are right now in extremely choppy period of the market. So again, we need this help of the swing algos. We are uh, uh, relying basically this year on the buy side. That's what says uh, algos to us. But uh, of course, we need our sell side as well. Our sell side is more aggressive because we're using more of the leverage on that side. So even that is 3565, you can uh, uh, trust that if we experience uh, short markets, it will be fairly 50-50 situation on the execution. But right now, again, we, we are more relying on the uh, buy side in uh, ratio wise. So this is a story of Daisy. Again, everything started from the day one, uh, the conversion side. Then algos were waiting for the entry. And now that's what you see. You can see it in your DAISY screen under the fund. And uh, 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 it's uh, updated regularly. And uh, uh, you will see different results between different contributors because you enter it at different points. And uh, uh, the conversion story that I showed at the beginning was different for each client. So that's, that's what happened. Anna, maybe you will add a couple of words about the audition as well. Yes, we are planning audition. Uh, uh, we are getting ready to it. Uh, probably we will not be able to do audition at the end of the January for our trading, but by, by end of February, it should be full uh, detailed audition with one of the top uh, five companies. And uh, uh, all the trades will be uh, provided to the audit companies. They will check, cross-check our uh, exchange uh, accounts through this trade, through the results that we publish, and uh, we'll put their stamp of approval. So this is very important for us because, again, we are, we are fully aware that we are in high risk, high return markets. So there is no free cheese. We will experience losses. We will need to show that we are comfortable with these losses. We understand these losses and we are accountable for these losses. So uh, uh, this transparency help us to stay true to the field of high risk, high return and uh, uh, not, to, not to try kind of any, any other approach. I think everyone, if I can just add one final last bit of texture for this, because I was a young, aggressive, alpha, super risky style trader, and I've come into this company, and here we have these very emotionless, automated algorithms that are working. And of course, as a, as a manual freestyle trader, I'm always thinking about opportunities to long, short, and what have you. The key to this technology is the ability to have the experience to provide the time required. This is the only further investment that anyone would need with DAISY with regards to gaining benefit over time. It's the investment over time. So these algorithms and these structured uh, uh, trading strategies will produce statistical performance over time. And this statistical performance has really been the 
lifeblood of this team. That's our academic market proven pedigree. That is where the pedigree comes from. It's from years of staying constant, not consistent, constant. And the way that we're going to stay constant is precisely as Anna said, and as the team have, have advised, we're going to take the tech to the next level. We're in a high risk, high reward market. It's fully automated running as it should be. And if all of you can provide the patience for the machines to take the positions that they need to take, we will gain the statistical outcome that we're after, but we can't rush the machines because they're not like us. They're looking for those technical opportunities and they will take those positions as and when is correct to take them. So it may be a few days or a few weeks between positions. We may have singular trades that run for weeks at a time. It's not here to show off like a managed FX trader would, for example. So I'll just leave it there. And I'm really excited for all of you to start really feeling these results after 90 days, 120 days, you start seeing some averages. That's what we should be hunting for everyone, looking for the end of the first and second quarter and really understanding the shape of the annual term that we're covering as this first year rolls out for Daisy. That's a really good point, Adam, you brought. I don't know if you remember when I got uh, connect my account, remember back uh, back back in 2018? Yeah, every, every week or so, is it connected? Is everything okay? What's happening? Yes, two weeks, so I'm calling you and say, Adam, are you sure my account is connected? I have zero trades, right? And you go like, don't no, worry, it's connected, you know? And then what happened? Five trades in a row. No, five trades. My first five trades, they were losing trades. Oh, correct. Then, May. Yeah. Yeah. And then later, and then later, my account quadrupled. I mean, I, it's over time. It wasn't quadrupled. We, we don't know if it's going to be the winning month or losing month. Here's the game. Let's yeah. say that it's the first month that you start and you immediately start in profit. You, you feel like you're a, a billion dollars with the smartest man in the world. But if you start on a negative month, the little old voices start to pipe up. Oh, am I in the right place? Did I make the right decision? Is it even working? My friend is calling me and telling me he's making 8,000% last night in three minutes. What am I doing? Just remain calm. And I think um, I'll right. pass it back off, but having someone like Alexi on the team and, and also Ed, you and Jeremy and Ilya, the way that you're able to distribute the correct educational message for everyone to use this system, we really are relying on everyone to stay unified. And if we do, Ed, how do you feel after a couple of years of results with us? Is it is it good? Is it bad? That's true. That's true. <laughs> we're, we're back for, for round two, right? So um, I'm wishing for everyone the same. And, and it may take more or less time, depending on if the first month is the positive month or or not. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Dr. Anna, a couple more questions to you. And then I think uh, uh, we'll, we'll go into a different little bit direction with Jeremy and uh, Alexi. Uh, the question first, before I go more into question first, uh, I the last couple of days, so many people called me, the people who already bought 10 tiers waiting for VAP. Do we have approximate date when VAP program is going to be ready for DAISY members? Uh, we're doing final testing of the uh, front-end technology. And uh, next week, uh, we will finalize it. It's not a big story. So next week, we will give the call for the VIP accounts, and Adam will, you know, welcome them uh, into into the infrastructure. Awesome, very good. Uh, another, the most common question I hear from the field: people are asking, how is Endotech able to execute larger orders when all exchanges do not have a way to execute large uh, trades? Large. Uh, again, we are coming from the field of uh, commodities trading. We traded on uh, highly liquid, less liquid. We treated uh, thousands of clients. And what we understood that you need to have professional, uh, high grade institutional order execution. So the thing that we did fairly early, uh, we also suffered in 18, 2018 from the poor execution of the exchanges. So what we did is we put the emphasis on Exec uh, on uh, algo execution of the orders. So each order that's coming to the system has a, a specific algorithm of how to execute it. The, uh, for the professionals uh, on this calls, I will explain it in a simple way. You have level two book, you have TVAP, VVAP orders. So we created our own smart algorithms that actually takes into account the order flow that we need to execute. And we use our own proprietary uh, algorithms for order execution. Again, relying on uh, uh, the level two uh, on the book 
and on the uh, different exchanges, we spread between different exchanges, we spread between time and so on. There are two additional values that play into our favor. Uh, the reason that we don't use high frequency trading is specifically because of this, because we believe that you cannot be highly active in such markets as crypto, because again, you need more liquidity. So our algorithms are more of the long term. We don't take many trades. And whenever we take a trade, we have enough time to enter. We don't enter at the break, we enter before the break. So before the break, you usually have enough time to enter in specific algorithms. So this is one. And then also when we exit, we exit before the, 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 the uh, uh, opposite direction takes place. So during this 20% of the trend, you still have lots and lots of places where to exit. So again, proprietary algos, we try to use uh, proprietary algos of different exchanges. We discuss it with their teams, with their institutional teams. And apparently their results is about like, you know, three to eight times worse than what we have. So we decided to stick to our development, to stick to what we have. We're still looking, we're still uh, weekly discussing it with different teams of whether they can offer us additional elements of improving the algos. But at the moment, again, we're still with our execution. Our estimation is uh, this, that we will not be affected till uh, $480 million in under management for the DAISY. After that, again, we're we are constantly looking. So probably till we get there, we will be able to offer even higher uh, market cap, uh, higher uh, AOM cap for the trading. And I'm not talking about additional markets, just the crypto. It's in the crypto market, right? Yeah. Dimitri yeah. also mentioned that with the multi-year head start, Ed, and that's, that's really what's so critical. Anna gave us the complete technical side, so I'll just give you the slightly fundamental emotional side. Becoming close to modern and high-level trading exchanges is not an easy task in today's world. There's a lot of people that would like to be very, very closely friends with the Winklevoss twins over at Gemini Exchange or the owners of Binance or Arthur Hayes, for example, at BitMEX. Over the last few years, even before I was here, the team were dedicating relationship building with the major exchanges. And today we have a very strong direct connection to the senior management, not only at Binance, but also at exchanges that are world renowned for their services, such as Gemini, who publicly uh, support and endorse us for our institutional deployment. So along with our algorithmic abilities, these exchanges are enjoying the fact that we are bringing them thousands of clients that stay healthy for years at a time that generate beautiful trading volume for those exchanges. So this is a great benefit for all of you. You get to jump on the back of many years of relationship building and, and close building with, with the actual people who run these exchanges so that if ever there is a problem or where Anna says we hit a part of the funnel where 480 or 500 million we start to have some execution headaches, we can pick up the phone and get immediate service uh, as you would want us to have. So that, that's a real big added benefit there that, that we will all benefit from as we continue. Thank you, Adam, for clarification. Um, you know, even though even though we're still being fully launched, that I can say uh, this team is already working on uh, bringing a different markets. We're already working uh, to get a registered fund uh, fully working between me, Jeremy, Ilya, uh, Dimitri, Dr. Anna. We've been working to bring different markets as Forex, but we'll talk about that later. Um, the last question to either to you, Dr. Anna, to Dimitri, either, I'm not sure exactly who's going to answer this question, but uh, I know uh, we've been working, all of us, uh, uh, my partners, you guys send the tech, we've been working around the clock. Uh, Dimitri uh, messaged me at past 4 a.m. this morning, messaged me a few things and then good, good night. I'm thinking like you need to get up pretty soon you're telling me good night right so we all don't sleep we work hard i mean you could see adam he has this eye circles uh, i'm looking at him did he cry or did he not sleep i'm not sure <laughs> right anyway but the question coming back to a question um that application that uh endotech took over the one actually started acting and not worked out for us immediately the day we launched. The, the second we launched, it didn't work, right? 
And now you guys took it into your hands and your team, right? And I want to hear it from you. Uh, how is that going in that direction? If you can, I know Jeremy can add some things uh, as well to it, but I mean, this is another question from the field. I want to put this last question, then we move to Jeremy to you. Uh, yes, the, the application is, uh, uh, as you see, it's functioning. We are planning to upgrade it with more information about the fund. So you will see more of the interworkings of the trading and of the fund. You will see more about your own trading results, your own uh, part of uh, the contribution fund. So uh, uh, again, uh, from our point of view, it's already working. If you see any issues, of course, it needs to be uh, reported. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's very new application for us. So again, if, if there are any issues unnoticed, please report it. Otherwise, uh, from our point of view, it's becoming stable. It's becoming, uh, it's not causing issues. So let's move forward with this one. All right, awesome. One more question, Dr. Anna, I forgot. White paper, can you tell us about white paper? Yeah. I know white paper, it's, it's our infamous two week story. Uh, we, were, we are working on this with, uh, uh, right now since the DAISY was already started and uh, we were able to deploy, uh, um, to work with uh, uh, professors and doctors on, on uh, uh, PhDs on uh, artificial intelligence, on economics and things like that. So they all started to, to put their teeth into our white paper and give us uh, comments. So we need another time to make sure that we do everything properly again. Daisy was a vision to take it from vision to exact uh, uh, scientifically rigorous story. That's our goal to be really scientifically rigorous about uh, our research because I think nobody took this on themselves to build the story, which is not only the vision, but actually the, the world changing, the, the uh, industry changing story. It takes us time to make sure that we're moving into the right direction on every element. So again, uh, even that I would very much like to tell you that next week we will see it, uh, uh, hopefully, but give us, give us a little bit more time to finalize it. I get lots of requests and uh, uh, calls from uh, universities and uh, students uh, saying that they're also doing some PhD or uh, uh, master's thesis on uh, fintech, on uh, finance, on economy or something, uh, whether we can help them with data, we can help them with information or with artificial intelligence element. We can, yes, we will do that, but let us first do our job for the next few months to prepare all this infrastructure for you. And then we will gladly uh, work with you on all the elements that we need. Again, the, the more the merrier from this point of view. So again, white paper, hopefully this week, more realistically week after. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Ilya and Jeremy, do you guys have any questions for Dr. Anna, for Dimitri from, from the field to here? We're probably missing something here. No, you, you nailed my questions. Yeah, I, I believe you asked all the questions. Just regarding this white paper, Dr. Anna, uh, some people asking this question, whether it's gonna be very difficult to read for those people who are not into science or something. How, yes, like, is it gonna be one, 100 yes. pages or yeah, 1,000 yeah, no, pages? It will not be long, but it will be intense. So again, if you are not part of the field, we will not cut corners on the terminology. Uh, it will be kind of over you. It's, we're not trying to build uh, the, the, uh, the answers. White paper is not about answers, it's about questions. We will put the questions, we will put the methodologies that we're planning to use, we will put the uh, necessary information about start of the project. Uh, it's not about, again, it's, it will not be a, a scientific paper yet, it will be more of the overview and our direction of how we're taking it. Uh, if you are not accustomed to a, a very detailed overview, it will probably not, will not be for you. Uh, we want to make a statement for, uh, you know, scientists, we want to make a statement for uh, AI uh, programmers of where we're going. And that should be exciting kind of for them to read our paper. So on the, uh, uh, it's not popular paper. I mean, maybe very much at the beginning, the first uh, executive summary will be readable, 
after that we are not making this as a goal and this was by specific instructions that uh, again we want to change the world we will not don't want to you know entertain uh, uh, at this point so once we reach initial results, we will start to entertain, I promise, because for me, it's very important for people to understand what technology is able to bring to their life, not only the end result of uh, 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 making successful trading and making successful bottom line, but also the result of understanding. We call it deep reasoning. We, need, we want to show that technology able to bring you the deep reasoning and able to help you understand the world better. But... Uh, uh, again, we will start entertaining later. Right now, it's just a pure, you know, blood and okay. uh, work. I love it. Change the okay. world. Uh, there is so, I mean, this is the goal of Daisy. We will change the world. Uh, there's going to be hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people uh, with uh, great testimonials. Um, guys, end the tech. Uh, executives, uh, Dr. Anna, Dimitri, Adam, we thank you so much. We're honored to work with you. Looking forward for a long journey, successful journey with you guys. And now I want to pass it to my friend, to my business partner, Jeremy Roma. The announcements about smart contract, a lot of people waiting now. Uh, let's uh, move to that direction, if that's right. Absolutely. Yeah, what an incredible call. Thank you guys again so much for... Uh, for being with us tonight, you know, it's it, 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 the model of Daisy it, it, because of the, the partnership with Endotech and the long-term vision of, of this model. I mean, it's, in fact, what, you know, it ties into this next part of the conversation because, uh, you know, one of the things that, that we constantly have to, we, we have to be looking at every scenario from two perspectives, from the short-term immediate perspective, but also from the long-term uh, scaling perspective as we go into phase two and phase three of uh, the different elements of DAISY as you've seen in our roadmap. So one of the things that has, uh, has come up in this process, and I love Edward, you say this all the time, that uh, things always end up working in our good. And even things that look bad somehow have the ability to produce forward movement, right? Necessary things come out of sometimes those, those negative challenges. I think we would all agree that if we had to choose uh, where we were right now, we would wave a magic wand and, and we never would have had these issues with the, the initial uh, platform, right? If, if, we, if we could go back in time and, 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 and do things differently, absolutely, we, we would all choose to be in a different situation. But as it turns out, uh, the situation that we're in is actually serving a very big purpose for the future of DAISY. Uh, because what it forced us to do and, and is it forced us to bring in the top of the top uh, brilliant minds when it comes to smart contracts, blockchain technology, decentralized applications, and get all of these different views on the architecture of our, our internal technology. And in that deep dive process, in fact, this is how we ended up meeting Alex. We went back to uh, an, an auditing company uh, and said, look, we, we want to do a second audit on, uh, on the platform, because, but we want to do it from a different perspective. We don't just want to do an audit to make sure the smart contract works. We want to do an architectural audit that makes sure that we're able to scale in the future. In other words, that we can upgrade our smart contracts to new offerings. Let's say, for example, we move into the Forex market next. And we have an offering, we have a different offering than we have today. We want to be able to maintain the entire genealogy, maintain the qualifications and bring phase two to the community without, without even blinking an eye, literally be able to emerge into these future phases of DAISY. Well, some of that architecture was missing. Some of that uh, ability to, to migrate into new generations of uh, Daisy smart contracts was missing. Uh, the proxy server and some of the, the some of the the architecture that's required in order to create uh, upgradable smart contracts and for us to be able to scale to millions of users and for Daisy to become uh, anything that the market demands and it become in the future. So uh, as, 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 as Endotech expands, as Daisy AI expands, as we move into different markets like Forex and equities, and as we move into the decentralized finance arena, which is in the future for Daisy, 
big DeFi projects are in the future for us. Uh, we needed the ability to uh, move that genealogy and that infrastructure, rather maintain that infrastructure in genealogy, but create new smart contracts that can tie in in the future. So we found out in this process that there were some things at a core level of the technology that were missing. Uh, and, and, and the truth is, is right now, we had to hit the pause button with 55,000 people. And we have to migrate from one smart contract and Alex will talk a little bit about this tonight. Initially, we thought it was going to be three smart contracts that we were going to divert into. And now after full analysis, uh, it's going to be five different smart contracts that are all talking to each other. There'll be a smart contract for pace setters, for example. There'll be a smart contract for the trading uh, rewards, for example. And there'll be different smart contracts operating different elements and components of, of the logic. This came as a result of Alex and, and a team and, and, and other teams of top leaders. So what we've done, guys, is we have now brought in specific field experts in each area that we have a problem in that we need a solution for. Uh, the data log solution, that's been solved. The smart contract solution has been solved. What I want everyone to hear today, I think, is two things. And I'm going to introduce Alex so you can hear his perspective as uh, as the lead technology uh, consultant for Daisy. Every situation that we ran into in the first launch, the solutions, uh, we, we, those solutions were uncovered within, within days and the development has started on, on those solutions. In the process, we also realized there were some bigger architectural concerns that would have limited our ability to scale in the future. So yes, right now we had to hit the pause button with 55,000 members that joined in four days. But if this had not happened, we would have had to figure out a solution in 30 days with a million users. And we would have had, a, had, to, we would have had to hit the pause button literally maybe for months on end if we would have let the problem grow to that degree before we addressed it. So in one sense, it's, it's, it's an... It's a, nobody would choose to be in this situation right now. But on the other hand, this temporary situation is actually putting Daisy in the very position that we need to, that we deserve to be in, where we have the ability to scale, unlimited scaling for the future of Daisy. And so in order to achieve that goal, uh, you know, I asked Alex this week, we were, you know, a lot of the programs happening. I said, what is the what is your realistic expectation? And he said, well, we have two things. We have a short-term solution that's going to let Daisy come to the market quicker. He said, that's probably going to take up to two weeks. Could be sooner, but two weeks will allow it to be fully tested, fully developed. This is a temporary solution. In the process, over the next few weeks, we will create the uh, underlying architecture for the long-term solution, but we'll be able to do a natural migration. We won't have to shut the system down in the future. We won't have to put anything on pause. We'll have a short-term solution in the next two weeks. And then from there, uh, we will be able to lay that long-term infrastructure that we need in order to be able to scale. So Alex, I love your story because you were introduced to Daisy actually through uh, one of the auditing companies that we were we, we are working with, they have a tremendous respect for you and your company that you own, your development company that you own, uh, and you have tremendous respect for them when it comes to being the the number one auditing company out there, one one of the best. And you came you came to Daisy Project through a different perspective. So thanks for being with us, guys. Alex is actually uh, now the lead technology consultant for Daisy overseeing several teams around the world with different uh, uh, areas of development and really helping us have a technology perspective on everything that's happening as well while, while it's, uh, the development's taking place. So Alex, thanks for being with us tonight, man. I'll throw it to you. Uh, thanks, Jeremy. So I think uh, the proper thing would be to first uh, introduce myself. I'm Alex. Uh, I have a development company and I'm going to tell you my perspective, my angle how uh, it all came to be and how Daisy handles this uh, problems and how it resolves everything. So um, a few weeks back, um, Daisy requested first audit. 
And audits pointed to some of the potential scalability issues, but not a single person expected this inflow of users. So uh, the interest was uh, tremendous and uh, the, the system, the, the load on the system was too much. And uh, Daisy team, what they did, they reacted. They said like, we need to compile a team of specialists right now. And uh, Alex is actually not a one person, right? Uh, it's a, a person behind a team of guys with prior uh, smart contract development experience. So it's a conclave of people. And uh, well, we started to uh, think from that point to handle the uh, potential issues. Now, why, why I personally state, why I, uh, why I like guys? Well, there are two main reasons. Um, first, uh, their dedication. So during uh, the time when they try to tackle this uh, honestly hardship, uh, they asked for a second, I don't know how to call it even, real-time audit. So, uh, and uh, this uh, auditing company, it's a topmost company, so it takes a lot of funds. It takes uh, a big dedication to constantly keep them here to oversee how things are progressing and how uh, things are going. And the, the second thing that I really liked is a product. So uh, we, we all know the uh, 2020, 2021, uh, right? Uh, the, the trends of the market. And we see constantly a new DeFi pops up with new token, with the funky tokenomics, and then they disappear or they uh, do something. Now, uh, why I was really attracted to Daisy? It's actually a straight up technology. So there is no uh, funky scheme. Uh, we have it uh, everywhere. Here is the technology. Here's how we trade. You participate in our program. That's it. That's all we care about. And uh, well, making a new technology is always much more compl complicated than introducing a token that ut utilizes something else that was done previously, right? Uh, it indicates the investments. It indicates the long term. Um, I think uh, that that's it for an introduction, right? And uh, I should point out to a uh, solutions on uh, how we uh, tackling these issues and how we are gonna deliver everything soon. So uh, what's the underlying issue? Well, the, actually there are two, as Jeremy point out, pointed out. One thing, uh, the pace setter program. Uh, there were a lot of pace setters, man. So uh, that part needs to be engineered um, from, uh, from another pers perspective. There are mathematical patterns on how you are able to do that uh, on chain and you would, would be able to do it. So you just wait. And the second is matrix genealogy. So if we think about the number of users and the number of operations, we do, there are things like sums of geometric progressions. There are exponential functions that we need to handle and optimize carefully when we talk about context of our smart contracts. So uh, this team that we've compiled, uh, it's partly uh, scientists and partly experienced uh, smart contract developers that's all uh, handling this issue and uh, tackling uh, and making this, pro uh, this project in a way that's uh, a scalable long-term solution. Uh, first, it's 100% possible to do. Uh, how are we doing that? Well, uh, we are gonna create a new smart contract uh, that's first gonna migrate uh, all of the users. And by the way, I believe that the migration actually might be the biggest issue here. So yeah, the research guys would be able to just optimize stuff. Perhaps there would be some minor tweak and catch and uh, problem would be solved like, like so. But problem about straight up data and bandwidth that we got previously, like the 55,000 uh, people with all of their referral users, with, uh, it's, it's a tremendous recursive structure. And uh, 
approach on how to resolve that. And uh, uh, the, the process must be done really carefully and up to standards. So uh, I cannot promise you a uh, expect us within a two days uh, statement. Uh, I'm gonna say that this would take at least two weeks as Jeremy pointed out. And please excuse me, Jeremy, because I'm repeating some of the stuff that you already said. No, I good. just want to highlight it and address it and perhaps address why so. Uh, even though we may be potentially done with uh, this intermediate solution within a week, we would not launch it. We would uh, basically audit it. We would uh, quality uh, assure we need to set up a high low test cases and see how our system behaves uh, uh, and simulates the high loads. Afterwards, we would green light everything and we would uh, tell you now we're ready and now it's a real usable uh, product that's uh, ready for all of you guys. Um, that that's it uh, for me. Perhaps uh, there are some questions that I may address. I think it's awesome. You know, it's uh, it's important. Yeah. I think it's really important for everyone to understand. Um, you know, we uh, we're so thankful for 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 the teams that have come together because we we went when we went into this initially, uh, we had uh, development teams on each part of the project, and if there was one mistake that was made, that was probably it was that we had uh, too many teams doing too many different things instead of uh, one team that was organized and structured to bring everything together. So uh, now, now moving forward, and guys, this is, this is I think what's really important to understand. So we, I, want, I want everyone to be very clear. We're looking at two weeks from, from today. And look, the last 10 days, a lot of work has been done. The, the database, uh, all of that has been extracted from the smart contract. Uh, the new contracts have started to go under development. Much progress has been made, but we cannot have this mistake again. And if it takes two weeks, if it takes four weeks to have a rock solid platform that is able to scale with us into the billions of dollars where we're going uh, with Daisy, then, then it's worth it. We as leaders, uh, every one of you on the call today, you're a leader, you're a founder, you're a pioneer, you're someone who saw the vision of Daisy before anyone else in the marketplace did. And when we reopened the doors of Daisy, every single member that has the 55,000, 53,000 members that joined Daisy in those first four days, you get to be a part, you will get to be a part of the biggest organized launch that the market has ever seen. And there's a story that's unfolding right now, guys. It's a pretty epic story. We did some amazing things in those first four days with a broken platform. We're launching a technology company and our technology failed. This is a beautiful story as long as we finish the story. It's a beautiful story that says sometimes when you dare to do what has never been done, you're going to face challenges and, 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 and have, have lessons learned and, and have to go through some growing pains. If you play it small, you don't have to have these issues. If you do what's already been done, this is an easy way to live life. Doing what has already been done, you just take a copy of what already exists. It's already been proven and you just put your color of paint on it. But when you're a pioneer, when you're an innovator like Endotech is innovating with the daisy trading technology and their current trading uh, algorithms. When you're innovating the way uh, the daisy uh, uh, global project has innovated a disruptive smart contract business model. When you're doing things that have never been done, you can expect to face challenges you've never had to face before. The beautiful story about daisy is still being written. And part of that story is we have a community of 55,000 people we have a core group of thousands of leaders that see the vision with us. We're gonna lead through the challenges, the delays, we're gonna get organized together and we're gonna release the biggest second launch that we've ever seen. All 53,000 members, 
your position remains, your genealogy remains, your qualifications remain, your 30 days is reset, your 48 hour uh, uh, for 10 generations is reset. Even if you've already gotten paid for those 48 hours, you're gonna get it again. All of that's in place. We're gonna organize and launch in a way that you will have absolute confidence and absolute certainty that the platform is working. Uh, and so we've got a great strategy, a great roadmap lined up, but we want to be very realistic. We hoped that we would have launched a week ago. The deeper we dug into the problems, the more we realized we can't ignore this. We can't ignore this. These things have to be done the, the proper way in order for us to go where we're going as a project. And if that's what it takes, then that's what it takes. And what we're asking all of you as leaders is to put your leadership hat on with us. Put your pioneer hat on with us. I promise you, there's none of you that are watching this webinar, I promise you, that are more disappointed or have had to deal with more frustration over this process than all of us have. Because you gotta realize that, that, that the, 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 you know, this is months of our lives vested into this project, uh, uh, years of our lives leading up to this project. Uh, this is 20 hours a day, seven days a week that we have poured into this. And, 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 and if, trust me, we know what it feels like to say, oh my God, I can't believe this just happened. It, 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 what it feels like to think that you've perfectly prepared only to find out that you haven't. And, and, and so we understand the disappointments and the frustrations, but we also understand that this is where great treasures are created. And through great challenges comes great character, comes great culture, comes great community. And as a community, we can use this as something that brings us together and says, I was one of the ones that saw the vision that never stopped believing in Daisy, even though we had challenges along the way. And I went to work during the pause to prepare for the reopening and I was one of the ones who didn't give up. And because of that, this is the reward. When we open Daisy back up, we will be the fastest project to a million distributors all day long. We've already broken every first week record of any company in the history of peer-to-peer -peer marketing ever in the first week. When we reopen, I believe we're gonna break first year records in 30 days. I believe we will break 12 month records and we'll do it in 30 days from the launch. So if it takes the full two weeks for us to be ready, if it takes longer than that for us to be ready, our promise to you is that it is absolutely going to be worth it. And I think the most amazing thing to wrap this up on my part tonight, to, for everyone to understand, and this is totally hypothetical. We, uh, Alex, I want, I want the people to hear you say that every problem we had, the solution is now in our hands and it's, it's now being put together. Is that an accurate statement? That there's no problem that is not already solved? Absolutely, it just takes time, that's it. So, so we, 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 we are launching, we're relaunching, but, but, but hypothetically, if Daisy never opened its doors again, every single member that has contributed to Daisy is in a position to win because the power of the endotech trading platform, the path, listen, you have stock equity. You have equity in this project in endotech. You have uh, uh, the access to this, this institutional level trading rewards. This happens even if, a, if, if no new money ever came into Daisy, the residual income from the long-term results of the trading, all of these benefits, absolutely, absolutely incredible. So uh, uh, with that being said, guys, you know, it, it's a tough announcement to make that we're not there yet, but I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's absolutely going to be worth it. So Edward, Ely, I'll throw it back over to you guys. Yes, Jeremy. Uh, like I like to say, I believe in this statement a lot in my lifetime. A lot of things happen. And at that moment, I thought it's bad, but it turned out for the best. And I know and I can see how this turning out for the best. These two weeks, people can use those 30 days extra. You already started enrolling some people. Maybe you brought three people, four, five, six, ten, whatever you brought. 
Now you starting over with already having those people with you, right? So you're so much ahead. And if you already reached space at a bonus, well, you have people in your team who didn't, and now you can help them to reach those shares because pay setters, those pay setters gold, when, when you have your three and or your six and nine, that's a lot bigger money than we all thought. I was surprised to see those, those right? They are bigger. So guys, 100%, this is for the best from both sides. It's for, for the best for the team. It's for the best for the company from a technical side to, to get prepared and, um, and it, just wait and see when the trading starts, when the profits are starting from trading. I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm 100% uh, putting all my uh, 100% a day. Like, like I said, I wake up, it's you guys. I go to sleep, it's you guys. It's like there's nothing else. It's just we, we, it's been like this. Ilya, uh, let's finish the call with you. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's been our lifestyle for the last few weeks, right? So from the moment we wake up until the moment we go to bed, actually, we are here to to help you guys. We're also here to provide the best solutions. And uh, like Jeremy said, like you, Edward said, so I believe this will eventually, this will, this will turn into a very, very positive situation for everybody, right? So uh, I think it would be very wise, actually, to use this period of time. Let's say, let's put it this way. For example, we have a couple of weeks, right? So many, many things can be done in a period of couple couple weeks, right? So we can do some trainings on the product side. We can invite uh, Dr. Anna uh, maybe one more time, right, to uh, do some more explanation on the product side. Or maybe uh, discuss a little bit AI technology, for example, right? Also, we can do some trainings uh, on, on the pay plan, right? And now we are working on the, like I said last time, so we're working on translation. Uh, it's being done right now in multiple languages. We also added a couple languages, by the way. Uh, uh, so it's going to be it's going to be Hindi language. It's going to be Indonesian language. Uh, it's going to be... Uh, Portuguese, which is very important. Many leaders ask for Portuguese language. We also had some 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 fancy slide about the explanation for 10 matrices because we do have basically 10 matrices. Some people, they missed out on this, right? So it's uh, very important to uh, take advantage of this period of couple of weeks, uh, let's say, and just do some trainings. And we are here for you 24 hours a day uh, to provide any kind of support needed. So we do leaders calls on daily basis. I mean, this is what we do. So uh, I believe... The future is very, very bright for all of us. Just like uh, uh, I'm based in Thailand, so every day, you know, the, the skies in this country is uh, very, very shiny and you see the sun. So unlike unlike back back in my country in Russia, so it's not gloomy here. So I believe that in the future, we all, uh, we will see uh, this kind of brightness like I see in the kingdom of Thailand. Uh, so the future is very, very bright. So let's just stay, stay positive and uh, train our teams and prepare for uh, DAISY 2.0 that like Jeremy mentioned, it's going to be much, much more powerful, much bigger than what we had today, uh, what we had before. And guys, I don't, know, I don't know if you noticed this, but you know, whenever we get together, something magical happens. I don't know if anyone's been looking at the market price while we've been speaking, but in the yeah. last hour, Bitcoin has risen from 32,000 all the way up to almost 37. Very interesting, our energies together. Everything I've heard on this call is phenomenal. I didn't get a lot of time to be on these calls with you, so I'm, I'm going to be quiet. But thank you so much for the time. It's been so awesome to sit with you today and um, excited. Yeah. It's awesome. It's awesome. Hey, one more thing, guys. Uh, we, we've been so busy, we forgot even to post it, to announce it. Uh, we've been, uh, we, we, we sponsored uh, one of the biggest in Asia uh, events, crypto event uh, that we forgot to mention to you. Guys, it's it's actually a pretty cool thing. Uh, we got in uh, through our Japanese team leader, who um, brought this to our attention. And uh, Ilya, do you want to cover a little bit about this? Yes, basically, it's uh, it's one of the biggest events uh, with some major uh, people, uh, famous people, right in this industry of. I'm, I'm talking about crypto industry, of course, not about the MLM industry, right? So, uh, so. Uh, we became one of the sponsors, uh, I would say, in the last couple of days before the event started. Uh, so it's an uh, honor for us to be on the on the website with our logo. So about 5,000 people actually expected to, to visit that event, uh, ba mostly, uh, mostly in Asia, but because it's in English, so I would say like from all over the world. And uh, uh, we will uh, 
uh, also plan for the future. I mean, I cannot share right now what we plan for, for the next few months to come, but we plan also to participate in this kind of events with much, much bigger numbers. And uh, I think we, we, we will have some surprises also for the future. I mean, now I'm not in position to share uh, what, what is waiting for the future, but uh, we will make uh, all we can uh, in order to be uh, up and dated, not only in the industry of MLM, uh, which uh, is very important industry for us, and we've been in this industry for many years, right? But also in crypto industry, in particular in the industry of DeFi, because now it's a hottest trend, just like Alex mentioned, uh, smart contracts DeFi. So this is industry where we are operating on very big scale. So uh, we believe in the in the next few months, a lot of people, a lot of experts will pay attention of on what we are doing, right? So we just need to relaunch. And uh, again, uh, I believe even this year, many, many things, positive things are waiting for us. Um, while you were talking, I just got a text message from one leader and I think this text message, I can answer this, but I wanted to actually announce it on a, so everybody would hear it this, this while everybody from Endotech here. The question is that Stacy have exclusive relationship with Endotech or in the future, will we see other new companies using Endotech and become competition with Daisy? Um, yes, we do have exclusive uh, Daisy. I mean, if you go to Endotech website, you see their partner up with Daisy, you see only Daisy. Um, I can say yes and yes and yes, but I want maybe Dr. Anna, Dimitri, yeah. uh, uh, we I say something. The, the very simplest one, I think the fastest one, because I take care of all the sales for the company. So um, very simply, this partnership has been two years in the making. Uh, we consider Ed and the partners uh, um, family to us. We have all been moving in one direction for this. The last thing that we will ever allow to happen is the foundation of our relationship to be eaten out from underneath. Exclusivity is just as valuable as the technology and the results. And rest assured that Daisy is locked in as the exclusive partner. They will never, ever be another further strategic partner, competing system, or anything of those lines. And just in case there's a competing company that likes what we're doing and they think that they can step into the, to the arena with us, do remember that we've got a three to five year head start with our execution, exchange, and tech. So hopefully you can all take that and uh, um, take it as gospel without Anna or Demon needing to step in. I'm no, the gatekeeper. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, I want to love you. Uh, and uh, I can't wait. I can't wait to have this event once this COVID a little bit goes down. Have a live event in Dubai, right, Jeremy? Yes, I can't and wait. Adam, you guys are all coming. It's gonna be. It's gonna be exciting. Can't wait. Corona giving. As long as we can, we can fly with it. Yes, Jeremy. Would you close the uh, the call so we could uh, go back to work? Absolutely. So guys, that's uh, that's the updates. Uh, again, it's going to be worth it. And thank, I want to, you know, we just want to thank you guys for uh, all of you uh, who are on this webinar, all of you who are watching this webinar and replay. Uh, we know that that none of the success story that's been created would have happened if it wasn't for uh, your belief in this project and your dedication to this project. Uh, we know that anything great in the future that we do, everything great in the future that we do uh, as Daisy. Uh, we do it as a community, and it's because of, uh, of each and every one of us working together, doing our part, and uh, we just want to thank you guys and say it's going to be worth it. Uh, we, we know that uh, we all hope to be live by now, but the delay is necessary, and it's going to be worth it, and we're going to continue to plow forward and uh, get ready for an epic uh, phase two launch. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yep. Bye -bye. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye -bye.